All right, what's poppin', everybody? It's your boy Armani. We're back with another video. All right, so get in here. We got a chat. So I got the news, Cardi B and Joe Budden getting into it, or Cardi B got into it with Joe Budden. Everybody's hitting my DM like, yo, you need to get in Cardi B spaces. You need to get in Cardi B spaces. Cardi B spaces got like 12,000 people in it. And I came in at the end. So I didn't go back and watch the full hour and a half, but I got the gist of it. So pretty much there was a clip from Joe Budden's recent podcast that was circulating around where Joe Budden insinuated that, you know, the label pretty much said that Cardi B is not going to be releasing another album um, and she's just going to be a featured artist. Now, Cardi B didn't like that and she hasn't been happy with Joe Budden for a while. So she went on and she addressed it. You know, she pretty much was like, he plays both sides. He acts like he likes me, but then he like does like these little sub things like, you, you pretend that you like me, but you passively, aggressively throw me shade and you've been doing it for the last two years. And and I just feel like, you know, you're doing this stuff based upon like because you got an interview with pretty much Nicki Minaj. You know what I'm saying? You got an interview with Nicki and now you acting funny. She didn't say Nicki, but we know that's what it was, who she was talking about. And she just felt like Joe Budden was like kind of playing with her. And she was like, well, I don't feel I don't want to be in that situation where we had to take it here. But I've been letting you rock for so long. And so at this point, I'm addressing you and stop playing with me. Stop throwing the rock and hiding your hand and then acting like you like me when you really be like sneak dissing me. But then try to clean it up like you like me. You know what I mean? You you, you don't really rock with me. Whatever the tension is, you got it. Then it started to get into she was like, well, nigga, you I gave you lap dances. And he was like, I never gave you a lap dance. I mean, you never gave me a lap dance. She was like, yeah, you was on coke. And when you did that, he was like, I never did coke. And she, and Joe Budden pretty much was saying, I'll never talk about this girl in her career again. I'm done with it. All right. Um, and so here are my thoughts on the situation. I'm going to be as neutral as possible. I personally feel as though from Joe Budden's end, I think that he's a media personality. And I think that, you know, when you do, when you do, he does gossip. He does gossip commentary. He does. He's a he's a great music critic, um, and he's a critic uh, critic on you know things in the culture. And at the end of the day, I personally feel as though you know sometimes you got to pick strategic enemies and strategic allies. And I think that with the Nicki Minaj co-sign, with the Nicki Minaj interviews, um, he has to lean a little bit towards that side, but then still try to remain neutral with Cardi B. But at the same time, like, it's like, well, I'm not really getting anything out of you. I'm not really, I'm not really, you're not interviewing with me. We don't have really in, that much engagement. I don't really get along with your husband. You're probably never going to do anything for my platform. So I'm just keep it all the way 100. And a lot of people don't like that, but that's kind of what it gives. Like, so, and it's not that he would be lying or being biased one way or the other. It's just more so the guardrails are being, you know, taken off. The guardrails are off. You know, it's like, I'm not going to put on those protections for you because I don't really see a benefit or a reason to, and I'm going to just keep it real with my audience. And then two, let's just be very clear. I mean, he hasn't really said anything that he hasn't said in the past. Like, people want the album. And I think the, the temperature would change if she actually dropped the album. So I think as a critic and a music critic, I mean, I think anybody would probably say that. I'm not going to lie. Like, especially when you're getting certain intel. I don't think what he said was really wrong. I think she just didn't like it because he has a lot of followers and it would hit. But if you think about it, saying that you'll probably never get another Cardi B album, he said this before. And at the end of the day, everybody thinks that. Everyone feels like that. Even her own fans feel like that. So I really don't think that there was anything wrong in him saying that. I just think that because of the nature of his platform and how large it is in his voice, and she's under a lot of pressure, she didn't like it. But she's been having an issue with Joe Budden because of the things that he said. And I just think that Joe Budden, when you're in that seat, when you have that type of platform, you know, people are going to react. And people are going to react that way. You know what I'm saying? So she talked about how she ignored him and this, that, and the third. But honestly, I don't think that he did anything wrong. I think that he did his job as a commentator. Now, how she may feel about it, that's totally up to her. And, you know, and she has a right to feel the way that she feels. If she feels as though it's backhanded, who can who can change her feelings on that? I feel like, do I feel like he's backhanded? I feel like he could be a little bit biased because, you know, you got the Nikki thing. I don't feel like he would do that to Nikki. You know what I mean? I do feel like you could lean a little bit more into Cardi B and then into Megan Thee Stallion. But at the end of the day, Cardi B is not putting out 
an album. She's not putting out a body of work. So it's easier to lean into that space. And it makes for great conversation. And when you're doing a podcast, you're you're a conversationalist. So then you're going to talk about it. You ain't getting no Cardi B album. I mean, at the end of the day, that is his opinion. And the proof is in the pudding. There hasn't been any rollout. There hasn't been any album release date. There hasn't been any, there hasn't been anything for the album. So I don't think that that was wrong. I just don't think that she likes that he keeps stepping on that part and magnifying it and adding more pressure to it, if you want to be honest. But he's doing his job as a music critic and a commentator. You know, but I think for her on her side, she's like, well, nigga, don't well, just say you don't like me. But I think the problem is he could still like you. And still feel that way. You know, I feel like if you put out some fire music and you put out records and you start doing well with the music. He will be on your side. I don't think that Joe Budden all the time just tries to trash Cardi B. But at the same time, it is a business. So it's like. I mean, what is stopping him from giving his unadulterated opinion? Nothing. And then you're not putting out the music. So then he has a job to do. He's going to talk about it. And if you come up in a music conversation, it's going to come out and it is what it is. Now for Cardi B, I just think that, you know, she has every right to feel how she feels. If she wants to go off, she has the right to go off. I would just be a little bit more cautious of, not turning all the blogs and everyone off because you do need the media at some point to be in your corner. Yes, you can be a star. Yes, you can be Cardi B. Yes, you can have millions and millions of followers and fans, but you still need the media. And it, it's a, and you can't act like you don't need the media because you also you get upset when the media is not on your side. Because if you didn't need the media, if the media wasn't a big deal, then you wouldn't have been upset at the fact that he said that there would be no other album. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I think it's just, it's a catch-22. I think Cardi B, you know, it's easier said than done. It'd be like, well, you need to focus on the music and this and the third. But I would just caution her to in timing because, you know, I know that she's felt a way about Joe Button before when he's made similar or the same statements and she hasn't said anything. But then when you choose a moment like this, what people can, what people will typically do, instead of understanding and, and digesting it, then you have the detractor saying, "Oh, well, she's doing this to try to take away from JT's moment. Oh, she's doing this as a rollout for her single tonight." And so, if you don't want people to think that, or you don't want that narrative to be pushed, you gotta do, you gotta go off if you're gonna go off when it doesn't feel like either another girl that you have rolling out is around you or you're, you're speaking out when another girl is rolling out that you, you know, maybe have issues with and, or when you have a music rollout, you can't choose to like go off during that time. Cause then people are going to be like, Oh girl, she's just picking this moment now to, for as a publicity stunt, you know? And so I won't say that it's a publicity stunt because I know that she's felt a way like this before and she's probably just let it come to a head. However, if you want the message to totally be received, then you should do it when it feels more genuine versus like, oh, I have something to sell or I want to divert the conversation because people on Twitter, fans, they're immediately going to say, they're going to look around and say, what's going on? What's happening around this time? And if there's a JT album release or if you got a single coming out, then all of a sudden you're addressing Joe Budden and you know this is going to go viral well, people are going to say, oh, she's doing this for attention. So my thoughts is this. I think the artist has every right in every area to have an opinion on people speaking on them. If they don't like it, they have a right to address it. But at the same time, as media, media has a right to give their opinion on these artists. You know, and I think she didn't like that. It was talked about how her album was pushed back because Nikki's album was pushed back. Well, we don't know what Joe knows. And then we don't know what. People, what kind of intel he's getting, you know, people give intel all the time. And so we don't know what connects he may have at the labels. You don't know what people are saying. And, that, and the bottom line is people do want that album. People do want her to put out music. And I think it's, it's one of those things that if you keep saying she's not going to put it out, maybe they're thinking they're going to get you to put it out more. So I, I kind of think that this was a little silly. I wish it wouldn't have kind of went that way. I think I would have rather Cardi B not respond 
to the Joe Budden situation because she hadn't re- she hadn't been responding. And I think the best w- response would have been the album versus getting online. And then if you would have put the album out and then he would have started trashing you, then I could understand you saying, okay, you're always, you know, trashing every one of my songs. But you got to think about it. He's no different than any of the other fans. You put out the whip shots, you put out this, you put that, put these singles out. But those are great when there's a body of music. Those are great when there's an album. But then when there's no album that people can critique and break down and and really see, can you do it again? They're going to be like, all right, she's a singles artist. Like she's done. And at the end of the day, Cardi B has to recognize that she's put up many, many stats. And so the bar is set really, really high for her. And so at the end of the day, everybody's waiting to see if she can do it again. And unfortunately, and fortunately, she's in that seat. And so you are going to be critiqued at every turn because you sit in that seat. You know what I mean? Your album, her album was one of the biggest female rap albums of all time. And at the end of the day, people want to know, was it luck? Is she really capable of doing it again? And when you don't do it, you're going to get the top leading podcasters and music critics. They're going to be saying, hey, where's that knockout album? The girls is putting out work. This number one female rap album from seven years ago, she still ain't she still ain't putting nothing up. It's, it's still a sport. You know what I mean? And so all Joe Budden is doing is debating the sport of hip hop, debating the sport of rap. And I don't really see anything wrong with it, because if you're not putting up any stats, if you're not putting anything out. And if you're only putting out, you know, singles. Yeah, that's going to be a conversation for for a critic and a person that's doing commentary. So I don't know. I just think that she may have got a little emotional with it. And I think that, you know, she can feel how she feels. But I don't think at the end of the day he did anything wrong. But it doesn't take away the fact that she feels as though he's not giving her fair treatment. But I would ask her to understand, girl, you understand the climate that we're in. They're putting a little heat behind you. They're putting a little pressure behind you to put out work. And then from his end, you know, I think that it would be nice if he would just be like, you know, I am a little bit biased. Because I think that as media personalities, we do have to admit that our we have biases. Because when you don't admit that you have biases at times, it does come across like, bro, stop playing. And you, you can't be credible because people can see through your biases. So you have to be real. You know, Nikki done gave you two, three interviews. You are a little bit biased to Nikki because if it was Nikki, you probably wouldn't have done that. But, you know, in the media defense, I mean, bias is a little bit earned. You know, it's 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 all business at the end of the day. So, you know, he, Nikki follows him. Nikki gave him great interviews. Nikki's done Boost First Platform. And on top of that, Nikki has put out bodies of work. Nikki has went on world tours. Nikki's Nikki's putting up the stats. So there's not really nothing to discuss but sing her praises. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I just think that Cardi B, while she feels the way that she feels, the best way to respond to that is to put up. It's, you know, it's put up or shut up at this moment. No, There's no time for going back and forth. If you feel a way, let it release in the music, and that's how you shut everybody down. So those are my thoughts. What do you guys think in the comments below? Do you agree with Cardi B? Do you agree with Joe Budden? Or do you think that it was pointless conversation in the first place? All right, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until next time, keep that same energy, and we'll see you soon. Peace out.